Hey everybody, we've got another uh, clean water systems instructional video for you today. Uh, today we're going to discuss the uh, chemical draw feature on our air valve, 5900 air valve. Uh, just a way to troubleshoot it if you feel that you're not getting your chemical draw correctly. This is a new installation. The first thing you want to make sure is, is that your J setting is set correctly. So we'll go ahead and hold the two buttons down. Release, hold them down again. And we go into our programming. So this is your regen time 2A. Two minutes. Number two is the 10 minute backwash. Three is the rest period of five minutes. Four is the uh, air replenish. That is actually when the brine draw comes in. And we're going to reset those values in a minute. Uh, number five is your rapid rinse. There's your J number. So you can change this. If you're set at J0, you're not going to get any draw, chemical draw at all. J2 is where we recommend you start setting it, but today the max that you can set it for is 4. That's where we're going to set that at. And then your Bluetooth. Okay. So we've got our J set at 4 for the max amount. Going to go ahead and press the two buttons again. Get into the programming mode. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set on the number four, we're going to set this to one minute. Okay, so that's set at one minute. Okay, so, and the J is set at four. That's the maximum amount that'll pull, that'll draw quite a bit of fluid in that one minute that we're in the four cycle, and we're going to uh, demonstrate that in a minute. So 99% of the time, if your uh, cam draw is not working on a new installation, it's the J, J value setting is not set correctly. So now that we've got it at the max at J4, uh, the air replenish at one minute, we're going to go ahead, we've attached a small hose to your actual chemical uh, introduction into the valve here. And I've got a glass of water. We're going to go ahead and run it through, its re, go into its regeneration cycle and see that it's pulling water. We do that by just holding the bottom button. Now we're into cycle one, the air release. We'll go ahead and advance by holding the set change button down to backwash. We're just recycling through the backwash steps. So as we go into cycle four, this is the air replenish cycle. This is where your chemical draw is actually going to happen. So you're going to, there's two things that are going to happen. Your air replenish is going to, your volume of uh, water is going to drop in the tank. You're going to be pulling in air. You're also going to be pulling in the chemical. So a couple things will happen. There's a valve back here that I'll show you in the next frame uh, that actually depresses when it goes into this cycle. And you can actually see that valve function. So you want to make sure that valve functions and that it's drawing the water. So here we go. And as you can see, we have great chemical draw here. This is at its max. So our chem draw is working, functioning properly. I'm going to go ahead and advance this around. And we're back into operational mode. 
So that's the first thing you want to check. Make sure you're in the correct J setting. The second thing you want to make sure of is this brine valve back in here sometimes gets clogged up. This is a picture of what the brine valve actually looks like. So just setting this J to 4 and the uh, number 4 air replenish to 1 minute. Cycle through that. It functions this bout. Try that a couple of times. That'll be your second attempt. Then go ahead and see if it's uh, still functioning. Uh, if you still don't have a chemical draw at that point, then we're going to have to get into the uh, injector here, and I'll show you uh, how to do that. All right, I've spun the valve around. Uh, this here is your chemical draw or your brine valve, and this is the motor that actuates it. So I have gone ahead and regenerated. I'm ready to start cycle four. I just wanted to show you folks the actual valve driving this down and up so you could actually see it happen. So I'm going to go ahead now and go to the next regen. And as it goes into the air replenish, you can see the plunger going down. See it moving down? So it's now pushed it all the way down, and it's in the, it's in the open position, and then it comes back up. So that when that's open, that's what you want to do is cycle that back and forth. 